What rock did these guys crawl out from under? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Lesser Known Movie Monsters. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on monsters that haven't really been embraced by pop culture, despite the terror and destruction they caused on screen. Goddamn monsters. Since some of these monsters aren't revealed until the end of their movies, consider yourselves warned for spoilers. If you didn't see a giant creature you thought should be on the list, be sure to check out our first video of the Top 10 Lesser Known Movie Monsters. Number 10. Daimajin, the Daimajin Franchise Like a classic giant monster, Daimajin, or Great Demon God, is large, destructive, and arguably the hero of the film. This shogun-like, revenge-seeking spirit, or yokai, usually possesses a massive stone idol or statue wearing samurai armor as its body, and responds to the pleas for help from women, children, and the poor. When it comes to life, it'll defend those who've paid it the proper respect, and kill those who haven't, through the typical rampaging as well as its mystical powers. Fast and virtually invincible, it won't stop until all evil is vanquished, or a kind act is performed. It will then leave the statue and move on to where it's needed next. Number 9. The Crawling Eye, The Trollenberg Terror There's nothing unusual about clouds in the mountains. Now make that cloud radioactive and imagine tentacles coming out of it. The crawling eye is an alien species that generates its own mist to hide and run around in, and to decapitate humans in, just because it can. His head! It was torn up! Note that this one-eyed blob doesn't have to move fast to kill, because it can control the person standing across the room from you, and force them to do its bidding. Your best hope is having a psychic on hand to track it, as well as a lot of fire especially in the form of Molotov cocktails. Number 8. The Giant Octopus, It Came From Beneath the Sea Does anything good ever come from the bottom of the ocean? Believed to have been driven from the depths of the Pacific Ocean by a military sub testing H-bombs, this giant sea beast begins to forage for a new feeding ground. It's a giant octopus. Ship after ship begins to go missing as it wanders the ocean. Long before it's seen, we get clues to its destructive power and hints to its size. But even so, the actual reveal is still surprising. <laughs> and the fact that we now know that similar giant tentacle monsters like this exist makes this gigantic, possibly radioactive cephalopod even more disturbing. Number 7. The Monster from the Id, Forbidden Planet A relief ship is sent on a mission to a distant planet to check on an expedition from two decades ago. After reaching it, one of the survivors of the expedition, Dr. Morbius, warns them against touching down. Commander, I strongly urge you to reconsider. He tells them of a mysterious force that killed everyone except for his family. After they discover his experiments with the mind-enhancing technology of an ancient alien race, this force reappears. It sabotages equipment and kills some of the new arrivals. Monsters, John. Monsters from the id. When it comes to a deadly and invisible creature that can slip in and out without a trace, the first step in defeating it is convincing people it exists at all. The fact that it also comes from Morbius's subconscious further complicates matters. Number 6. Clover, Cloverfield When it comes to this giant monster, you get no warning or explanation, just destruction. Thanks to some found footage from a camcorder, we get to watch as New York City is suddenly shaken by explosions, with an unknown creature at the center of the mayhem. Due to the filmmaking style used in Cloverfield and the many close-ups, 
we only really see glimpses of Clover throughout the first half, which makes it all the more terrifying. In fact, it's temporarily covered with parasites that have a taste for human blood. By the time the creature is fully shown, the military has become fully involved. And that's when we get to see just how truly unstoppable it is. <laughs> Number 5. The Retosaurus – The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms it's the Retosaurus extinct for a hundred million years. Reviving a dinosaur has been a dream of scientists for a long time. It's too bad it always seems to go so wrong in the movies. When nuclear testing accidentally awakens and frees a dinosaur from the Arctic Circle, the confused beast finds its way to the coast of North America and begins terrorizing New York City. <coughs> Things only get worse as they find the dinosaur isn't the only thing revived. Its blood carries an ancient virus that begins infecting people after the beast is harmed, which means the military has to get creative. <laughs> Number 4. The Mutant Creature of the Leviathan, Leviathan Jesus. Sometimes man is the true monster, literally. In this Italian-American sci-fi horror flick, an unfortunate group of undersea miners finds a scuttled Soviet ship taking some souvenirs back aboard their own sub, including vodka. Members of the crew soon begin to feel ill and start dying. I'm so sick. Shh. The bodies then start to change and merge into a grotesque husk. The result of a mutagen produced by experiments from the former crew of the Leviathan, this monstrosity can continue to mutate and absorb more material to grow into a truly disgusting sight even after the death of the host or when its limbs are cut off, resolving the mystery surrounding the Leviathan's deliberate shipwreck. Say, oh, Number 3. Crawlers – The Descent Look, if there is somebody down here, then maybe they can help get us out. There are plenty of psychological thrillers about the fragility of human sanity and morality. Combine that with the claustrophobia of being stuck in a cave and the panic of being trapped, and you'd think that'd be enough. But nope, in The Descent, they toss in some feral, man-eating creatures, too. The crawlers are a subterranean cousin to humanity. Using echolocation, they are perfectly adapted to the dark and extremely territorial. They don't kill for fun. To them, this is a battle for survival. And so, they aren't pulling any punches. Number 2. Gamera, the Gamera franchise. A truly forgotten classic, Gamera was one of the original Japanese movie monsters. Originally conceived as a prehistoric tortoise, this large creature fed on fire that somehow gave it the power to breathe flames and fly. Despite all the destruction it causes in the original 60s flick, the Daikaiju still saved a child. Its popularity helped spawn multiple sequels, as well as a 90s franchise reboot in which the monster was modified to be a bioengineered guardian of the universe created by Atlantis. While it may seem beneficial to have a giant guardian with powers, one of the downfalls is that in the process of saving your town, it might also destroy it. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, come on! <laughs> Number 1. Graboids – The Tremors Franchise With the ability to sense any move you make, there's no escaping a graboid. Even if you learn to fly, it'll eventually molt into a flying form that can fire flames. This is probably the biggest zoological discovery of the century. These giant sandworms have a complex and deadly physiology, allowing them to burrow through sand and attack from underneath. They have an eat first, ask questions later mentality. However, they're also not as mindless as they look. This one ain't dumb. And in fact, they've survived to make it into five films and a TV spin-off as of 2017. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.